All right, welcome back to the channel. So I need an engine for the 38 Chevy. So I drove down uh, past LA uh, and picked up some parts. So I grabbed this six cylinder. It's actually a 1935 207. I know those trucks came with a 216, but this engine is very complete. The price is cheaper than the ones I was finding uh, as far as being complete. Um, carburetor, generator, you know, distributor, coil, it's all there. Starter, um, it's got the manual, um, just like the standard transmission. Um, it even came with all sorts of other stuff. So on this, you know, it's got a fuel pump with a little bowl there. Uh, it's got the hand crank, which I don't think that's the right one. I can't promise you, but she also had a Volkswagen, so I think that might be something from an old Volkswagen. But it's got the lever shocks on it. Also, it came with three extra transmissions. This one's very complete. I don't know a whole lot about these um, older six cylinders or any six cylinder. I haven't really dealt with those, but some more parts that I wanted were this axle, which is a torque tube. Um, I thought it'd be the same width as the 36 to 38. I didn't even know the 38 is quite a bit wider than the 36, but it's not going to work out. For one, it's five lug. She's a little bit hard to communicate with just because uh, these aren't her, really her parts. I think her husband. Um, so whatever. I got two uh, big block cylinder heads. I got another transmission. I got a whole front end which was very important to me. I know that all this looks horrible back here, but I had to move it out of the driveway uh, because it had the steering arm that goes from here back to uh, the steering box, and I needed that. It was the right length. Very important I got it. Really pumped. I got some extra leaf springs. I think those are actually not as long, so I'm not going to use any of that stuff. I'm going to try to sell all of it, um, but... You know, she wanted her garage cleared out, so went down there, gave her some money for everything. Hopefully, I can sell the other parts and maybe get the engine for free. We'll see. We'll see how many people actually want a 1935 Chevy uh, suspension with, you know, manual brakes, like, not even manual, like, I don't know, uh, non-hydraulic brakes. Uh, so, we'll see. I'm going to throw all that up on Marketplace and try to sell it. I'm going to hold on to this engine. I think it's going to go in the 38. I kind of want it to be a cruiser. Um, it also came with this radiator. Um, it actually looks pretty good. All this stuff was inside of a garage, so pretty optimistic about it. Um, it was, I think, a friend of theirs that, uh, you know, was probably throwing a V8 in their truck and... Uh, went way different direction or you know, different six cylinder. So it looks nice. Um, I haven't messed with it much. I try not to mess with it because I still need to work on the 36. I was gonna buy a 292 to kind of hop it up and have like a fun somewhat street rod, uh, but keep it kind of stock height. So pumped on those parts, you know, just trying to accumulate things that that truck is missing. Um, but like I said, I kind of am not trying to dig into it too crazy. Uh, but one of these days, I'm sure I'm going to try to get that engine to turn over and kind of play with that a little more. I kind of want to make a little engine stand for it. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys think maybe I should uh, hold out for a 216, keep it really original. I kind of like the older valve cover. You know, it's one year older. Or, you know, what? Three years older. It's not a huge deal. Um, and the 207 versus 216, give me a break. Not, both of them are slow. Hope you guys enjoy. Later.